Hi guys, in today's video, I am going to make a stone farm. As you could see, it looks like it uses a lot of materials, but it's very efficient. It uses only five materials, or you could use four if you like. I just added the white to hold the lava to light up the area more, but you don't have to do that. Okay, so first, we're going to start off with these materials. You could either use four or three, as I said, but I accidentally didn't say that. So first, you'll start off with ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you'll go four blocks high. One, two, three... Turn the weather to clear. Next, you place three tall white ones, I mean four, and then you go across by one. Next, you could add the next, you add the next wall, one block taller. I'm just gonna make it nine blocks, since the total width is nine, for the top. For the bottom, it's five. So one, two, three, four, five. This place is going to be holding a lava. So you place the lava in the bottom corner. So let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is one. Two, three, four, three. Okay. So next, you could move one block in. And you could add two things here. Add something along here. Break that so it's like this. And add another thing right here. It could make a drop right. It will make a drop right here. Just add this on the end to stop the lava from moving around. Now we repeat the same thing all the way over here. Right here, you add this column of white concrete next you fill the floor in so it doesn't burn when the lava touches it we'll place the water in here so I'm gonna add this This area is going to hold the water so it won't burn. You might want to fill this area in and then do this area with the filling. But first I am going to do this. Like that. The shell reached there. So let's see, this is one, two, three, four. So four is long enough for the lava to travel. And also, I'll have to hit 
uh, stuff thing right here. So it'll fall and create a brand new flow. But first, I'm gonna put the water here. Just flaying down to the last block. You could add a little window down here if you need to. I didn't add that to the blocks because here I'm not gonna include it. I'm gonna just do it clear. So fill in this right here. Okay. So the water's done. Now we need to add the lava. Lava flows slower than water. So you may notice it's going a lot slower. And then it'll hit the ground, the bottom, and flow over here. And then it'll create a stone block. Sometimes it doesn't make it completely, so you might need to add a second. And it puts more power into the lava. Oops. This. Okay, that's better. It was meant to do that when you place the second block, but it didn't. And yeah, it'll place it right there. So, I'm going to do this. It fills like that. You can grab this end of one you take it. You could get in time. And it does fill up pretty fast. Okay. So it works. You might need to add... Well, you might want it. You don't need to do this. But I'm just going to do it. For some fantasy. You could do that. So it matches the other side. Either way, it w the lava won't flow out, so, yeah. I'm going to cover that over there, so it's safe enough. The stone will respawn pretty fast. So, that was today's video. You can subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you next time with another awesome build like this one. Bye.